Okay, so this is the Ping Jun strategy that you have heard a ton of different leaders or panelists on Trainer Tai talk about. And essentially what he does is creates or collects content at one point and then repurposes it in several different regards. So very similar and really plays off of what we were just talking about with mini chat as well how you might have a broadcast that you send out that redirects people to a YouTube video on a mini chat landing page, or it might redirect them back to your fan page so that they can see a new ad that you just posted. Or it might direct them to an article that you got a lot out of, or something that was kind of a mindset shift that happened for you that you wanted to share with them. So it's very similar to what we were just talking about in mini chat, of how you do one thing and then you use it for three or four other things, but you take that opportunity to really share it with your audience in different platforms. Um, so that's the idea of it. Again, we're going to do kind of the 30,000 foot review right now. And then we are just going to start really small and we'll work our way into it. But I want to go through this entire presentation with you tonight so that you understand it from the 30,000 foot level and you can kind of see the value of it and then we will work out some of the kinks as we go through it. Now, why would we be doing this? Something we need to think about is how do we create our own version of an attractive character? Each of us have that person within us that we want to work with. It's probably going to be somebody very similar to you. Yes, you know, there's those ideas that you want to like hire to your weaknesses and things like that. But here you are breeding entrepreneurs. Um, so it's important that as you are running ads and as you're putting stuff on your page, that if we have a strategy that will allow you to kick it up a notch, to share more of you instead of just sharing an ad video all of the time or just sharing an ad with a quote card and a link and a reminder for the webinar. We need to create an environment where people get to know us and we can do that. It's actually easier in my opinion than doing it when you're running an ad. All right, so this guy here is, his name is Ping Jun. He is the one that we were looking at his page last week. Um, the reason why we have this presentation is because of the Malones being in the inner circle. And um, the reason he gave that presentation to the inner circle, which is the people who pay Russell Brunson $100,000 a year, um, just to communicate and mastermind with him on a daily basis, um, he gave this presentation to that group to explain how he won the expert secrets um, contest. And I guess he beat out like Grant Cardone and Tony Robbins even. And of course, everybody knows who they are much more than they know who Ping Jun is. And I'm sure that they had a little more of a marketing budget than him. Uh, okay, so step one of this concept is to shoot a video. So he says to take about five or 10 minutes um, per video and shoot over three days to collect a video library of 90 videos. Now, that is intense. I'm at like 25 and it is tough. <laughs> not shooting the video, it's not that part, it's the after part. And that's why we're gonna start with just five. Okay, so these are five videos with random headlines. I'll go through some of my headlines with you guys tonight so you guys can kind of see them. But at this, from this point forward, I want you kind of turning on that, uh, like a conscious effort to capture those moments where it's something you would talk about. Meaning, if I was, if we were at happy hour and we just had a glass of wine and we had some conversation that started, chances are it turns into like 10 other conversations. But probably like five or six of those stories that you share there are stories you've shared multiple other times because they were pivotal things that happened in your life. Start thinking about those stories. Just be conscious that if you are at dinner with a friend or you're getting to know somebody, um, what are some of those things that you share? That could be a very simple video, even if it's some random story. Like one of them that I wanted to do was 
like based on a quote my dad used to always say. Um, and I just wanted to share what that meant to me. And it's just a two or three minute video. Um, some of my other videos are about like different analogies some bosses have given me in the past when we've had challenging times with a company um, or with a client or something, some of those analogies that they helped work, a, work us through. Um, some of those pivotal things, like this weekend, Rosa was over here. Um, and at one point we were talking about Jonathan spending the, his first night at a friend's house. And she immediately started sharing a little bit of her journey with her boys and basically kind of reassuring me like, you'll be fine, you'll get used to this, <laughs> like they're gonna get winks. And I reminded her like, that's a video. Like, you know, you could even just share, like, so I was with one of my mentors this weekend and we started talking about this and it was cool for me to be able to mentor my mentor and share with her a little bit about my journey of being a parent. And you can talk naturally about those things. You're not click here, do this, don't say webinar, don't say opportunity. You can speak how you want. You can even cuss if you are somebody who cusses. Be you. So that way when the person starts working with you, they know exactly what they're getting. If you're not somebody who cusses and you're soft-spoken, be soft-spoken and someone who doesn't cuss. If you are not flashy, don't be flashy. If now, of course, you want to be able to captivate your audience and you want to have, do that. If you do that with kindness, pretty much you're going to see your way through. Um, but you want to position those first few seconds of the video to ex explain to your viewer what they're going to see. Um, so these first five videos, whether you end up actually using these videos or not, don't even put that pressure on yourself. Simply just shoot these five videos about five random different topics just for us to go through the process. If you do want to use them, great. If by the time you're done rendering them and that kind of stuff, you don't want to use them, that's okay. You can simply delete and re-record too. Um, but then at the same time, I always say, you know, keep your bloopers, keep where you started. It's important part of your journey, even if you might want to be a really mean critic of yourself right now. Tarna, I have a question. So um, you, when you're doing these videos, there's no like theme or series. It's just like whatever you want to talk about. Right? Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. Um, one of them the other day was when Facebook disapproved some of my ads. Mm -hmm. I did a video about following Facebook's ad policies. <laughs> Okay. Um, I've done a video about, well, we'll look at, I have all of my okay. 90 headlines written oh, out. Cool. Okay. Um, so we can look at all of them and don't hesitate to use some of my headlines. So you, like make it your own, change it a little, whatever you want to do. So this is something I, you guys might want to take a screenshot of. Uh, sorry, Jared, were you going to say something? Yeah, I just had a quick question. Go for it. Um, I've been, uh, you know, trying to knock out all these videos myself and having a fun time doing it and just to share with a little bit, a little bit with everyone else. And I also had a question in regards to that. Yeah, a lot of my content has just kind of been like motivational, inspirational, maybe quotes from Pinterest or videos that I've watched off of YouTube. I mean, I can watch like a 10 minute Tony Robbins video or Brandon Butchard and then get like, you know, five different topics that I could then discuss for this, you know, this 90 topic strategy. However, my question to you, Tarna, is most of my, um, my videos are about 44 seconds to like a minute 30 seconds. Is there a specific length they need to be or how is that in your opinion? Okay, so for some of the videos you've already shot at that length, that is good, especially for under 60 seconds, you can pepper some of those into your Instagram channel or to your Instagram. Um, 60 seconds and below can be an Instagram. And then you want to probably start doing some that are a little longer so that you can have your long form stories. Um, so we'll go over the long form stories here shortly, but that's where we take the transcription and use it as a story that ends up being part of like a blog post or even um, directs them back to your YouTube channel. So, so you're saying that after you get your 90 videos, and even if they are 44 seconds to a minute and a half, by smashing them all together, you're going to get that story that you're talking about? Or? No, no, no. We wouldn't smash them all together. So okay. um, have you already shot all 90? No, no. I'm only up to like 60 right now. So Okay. 
So do some now that are like three to five, and then maybe even a few that are like seven to 10. Um, so that way you have kind of a video library that we can space out some of your longer videos. Like we don't want to always be shooting out only just like one thoughts, nor do we want to be shooting out just novels. So, um, uh, I'm glad that you're already to that point and it's awesome because now you'll have like so much content that's also within size that you can use and size that you can manage. Cause of course the bigger videos comes with bigger transcriptions. But right. here in a few minutes, we'll talk about how those transcriptions get reused. Well, thank you for that. Appreciate that. All right, so I guess my next 30 will definitely be story then, since most of them have been fairly short. Yep. And I just want to remind everyone to make sure you guys get some good backgrounds. I've been like trying to go by the rivers, the lakes, the woods. Um, I've even done a couple of videos in front of some mansions that I do not own. Um, so, you know. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Red, okay. Red t-shirts and animals. I, I went in front of a rooster and I talked about the old school alarm clock. So just kind of like a random topic, but I just wanted to share that. But thanks, Tarna. That's so awesome. I can't wait. We're going to have to create like a little video vault with like a Google Drive that we can all see some of like each other's little, well, I guess we're going to see it on each other's YouTube channels and things like that too. Because I know when I started this, I wasn't thinking YouTube, I wasn't thinking Instagram or anything simply because my Facebook page is enough to manage. And I'm not even the best at managing my Facebook page. I should be better. So do not follow my lead on my Facebook page in whole. Um, but when you strategize on what we're going to continue to cover here, you'll see how it will become easier and easier for you to manage those different platforms and just look like a boss the whole time you're doing it. Um, okay. Yes. Question. So, um, with those videos, are you, are you giving us like a time frame that we should have those nineties, uh, 90 videos filmed by? I, I don't want you guys doing 90 yet. You can. Oh, I'm going to okay. ask you guys to start with five so we oh, can see. work okay. all the way through the process and smooth out kinks. So of our five, do they need to be, like you were telling Jared, do they need to be different lengths? I would say two to five minutes. Okay, perfect. So two to five minutes. The goal is, is that over this next seven days that you guys record those seven or those five videos um, and you can do them all in one time. So if you just want to change your shirt one time or whatever, but we're going to be spreading these videos out anyway. So it's okay, okay even if you have the same clothes on. Um, and then yes, okay. if you can get by a window or something along those lines, but two to five minutes would be good. If you want to do one or two that's below 60 seconds, so you have it for Instagram or mm -hmm. longer ones you can, but I don't want you guys being too worried about the exact time this time. I want more of just kind of like you guys to talk through a topic um, and keep it kind of on point. Okay, perfect. Tarna, um, with YouTube, okay, so I was not really on board with YouTube either, but now I'm like, huh, I kind of, I'm kind of liking it. Um, is that something, because I don't really know, like, how to get subscribers or, like, any of that kind of stuff. Is that? That's what this is going to help us with. This is going to do, okay, cool. This is for us to be growing our Instagram, our YouTube, and our Facebook by Got doing it. the work of one. Got it. Yes, we're going to have extra steps to do, but as we batch our work, um, we'll be able to just kind of create that flow to where it won't be any different. We might just need to cut down on some of our time where we kind of waste on Facebook by browsing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but once we smooth this out, it will definitely be doable. There will be parts where I'm going to grow you. That's for sure. It's growing me and I've been learning some good stuff. So if nothing else, it's just putting us into a position to be stronger and stronger. Awesome. Thank you. Of course. Okay. So this one, begin with the end in mind. Take a screenshot of this. This is the best headline phrases. I'll give you guys a couple minutes if you haven't already. But let's just think about number one for a second. We'll make you. What does that say about the human psyche and how can we apply that same psychological approach to any headline? You're basically challenging them. 
So it's something to think of. Okay, step two, you're gonna create your video bank. Again, we're gonna go 30,000 foot and then we'll talk more about the granular stuff. Um, and you're gonna name your videos accordingly and upload them to Google Drive and Dropbox. I am going to put in Life Hackers a little short action item list that I have for you guys this week. So you don't have to keep notes on what you need to do um, over the next week. I already have that charted out for you. I'm going to pop it in there. You guys can just check it off and know that you're right on point. But basically I am going to have you start off with like organizing some of your folders a certain way. So that way, again, we're beginning with the end in mind and you guys can have like a nice little file system because my ultimate goal is that you guys are all at fifty, hundred thousand dollars a month. And then you have designers and you have content marketing people that go into these files and move that crap along for you too. But we got to start somewhere. We got to be the driver of our car first. So, um, it, some of it might seem a little bit tedious and some of it might seem a little bit OCD. Please forgive me. But I know from handling some large projects in the past that if you do start off with those things up at the beginning, it makes you enjoy the entire process so much more. Okay. So you're going to name the videos according to the headline. Again, don't worry about remembering this stuff. We're just going to be reviewing it for right now. Um, and they're going to go into a Google Drive. Here is where he has um, his Facebook prepped videos. So you can tell which ones are prepped for Facebook because they are meme style. They have the heading and the footer. Now he puts in subtitles here. Um, we'll talk about that at another point or sometimes he even just puts a secondary headline there or the second half of the headline. Um, so this is what I just learned how to do really quickly um, and can teach you guys that either in a subsequent time, but I think you guys already voted on taxes and organization tomorrow night um, for the topic. So step three, repurposing the content from the video. So now here's where it gets a little bit different than anything we've done so far. So you're going to take the raw video and you're going to have it transcribed. Now, when you have it transcribed, you send it into rev.com or trent.com. Trent is another one I heard of the other night watching YouTube. Um, I have not compared them in price. Rev is $1 per minute. So Jared, when you and E have those videos transcribed, you will want to put them all together. So that way, if one video is 45 seconds and another is 50 seconds and then another is 30 seconds, it only ends up charging you about those two minutes. So they will charge you $1 per, even if you just go over a few seconds. So, um, and then you just get one huge file back with the whole, basically just a huge, like a ton of ad copy for yourself okay. now, or a ton of content copy for yourself now. Um, so it, this is where it gets a little bit fun. We'll walk through more of the, um, functional aspects of that. Again, this week, you're just going to be focusing on setting up some folders and um, recording five videos. Okay, so subtitles for the videos, rev.com, merge all of the videos together to save cost. Boom, there it is as a reiteration. Um, quote cards. Okay, so now from your transcription, so I'm just going to share with you guys one of my transcriptions. Now from this transcription, well, that's a bad example. I haven't even worked on that one yet. Mark's working on that one. Where's the one that I have already dressed up? All right, we won't fuss with that. We'll just go look at this one. Okay, so now I would go through here and pick out little things um that would be used as a that i could use as a quote and then these are saying things that i have said um i don't make it official or anything on my canva but then you can just pick different things like corrective criticism or constructive criticism or be welcome to corrective criticism or constructive criticism so i misspoke in my video um but this transcription is raw so now I can even just look at the, that and pick what quotes I want to do. 
So I'll give you kind of just a little example of what we'll be working on in the weeks to come, but we're going to be thinking through kind of a theme for each of you. Um, so I'll show you an example of the theme I picked, and this is something I can teach you guys from the beginning to the end in Canva. I have learned how to play with this tool like crazy, actually just learned more stuff, but let's see what it comes up. My computer's like, what are you doing to me? I don't know if you guys can hear the fan. I did try rev.com the other day and it was really good. And like, I mean, they got me my stuff back like within an hour and it was on a Sunday. So it was good. Good stuff. So cool. It's crazy how fast. I know. It's like. And how accurate, huh? Yes. <laughs> you can see all the time. Well, you take out when you say, um, but some of the stuff you say that you're like, oh, why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> Right? You're like, that didn't make sense when you actually read it. I know. I definitely realize I don't speak in full sentences. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's see. So here are some of the, like the theme that I just started with to kind of do with my new content strategy. And then I just have them labeled with like video and then the quote card number. So I'll take you through more of this vernacular stuff, but then I was doing some that had a lot of uh, real heavy and white, which I've always had kind of as partial part of my brand. And then ones that were just more heavy in color. So some of these, I just grabbed a book and looked at a chapter, read a little bit of the chapter, and then shared what it meant to me. Some of them I grabbed different quotes and just spoke about those. And some of it I even went back to some of the old content that I had and reused it again. So now from the transcription is where you pull the quotes. So you make a bunch, and as you make a bunch in Canva, you can copy them. So down here somewhere are my masters. So if I wanna use this version right here, I just copy this and then I edit out the words and I change the picture. Um, so we can go over that more for the sake of, I know that I've already kind of in here. Ah, dang it, I didn't hit copy. So here's where you make a copy and then it pops it up to the top and then you edit in here. Now Canva does offer photo frames. So these are just a picture right here that are really cool that I don't think most people use. So in the elements, you come to frames and then you can use the um, whatever shape you want. So this shape right here that you see is two. It's this one right here. I just put it on the bottom and then I put it on the top. But when you do that, you just drag the picture over and it puts it in there. Uh, and the same thing here. So if I wanted to change this picture, I can just drag a picture over it and it will change and then I can change the picture or the words and then I hit download and then go to the main screen on Canva and I'm done. So if you set up a few that are your theme, so right now you can kind of start thinking through your theme, um, but don't worry too much about figuring out what that is. I just want you to kind of understand the simplicity of what we're going for once we start to execute on that portion. All right. So the third thing that you get from it, so you have your video, you have your quote cards that go to your videos. So now you have like, you know, you're saying the same thing, but you're saying it in different versions. Now you have your long post. So a long post is going to look something along these lines.
as that's pulling up, um, in my transcriptions, I would take this right here, this video, until whenever it stops. Um, I would take this, change it a little bit to where it was like in complete sentences, it made sense, and add some emojis. And then I would use this as a long post story on my page sometime over the next three months. Now my quote cards from this same video will be happening whenever. And then so will my long post story. It will happen at some point. And that's exactly what this kid's done to get to over 2 million followers. So here is a long form story. See how he puts his emojis before what he describes? And then here's a link to the video that explains the long form story. And it's just a minute and 42 seconds, something simple. On YouTube, it's this big wide video. Um, and then typically in the um, stuff here, he'll link you to a blog post sometimes too. We're not going to be messing with the blog just yet, but maybe in time, some of us that do enjoy writing will want to take that up. So that is a long form story that is just the transcription from that video. Um, but now he's directing people to his YouTube as well. All right, and then from there you also, again, the blog post that we were just kind of talking about, but then you can also do a short form. So again, we're not gonna talk about, uh, or we're not gonna worry about any of those portions right now, but it's a way to continue to reuse it even on Instagram. So now when you're editing the videos, um, he does talk more specifically about how to make it YouTube appropriate where it's the right size so that it looks more something like this where it's square and then has the stuff on the top and the stuff on the bottom. So this is one of my videos that's ready for YouTube. Um, and it's actually really simple to get it like this. This was actually probably one of the easiest parts. Um, so I'll be sure to teach you guys that. And if anyone's anxious to know, I can always record you a quick loom. Um, and then the YouTube video would look more similar to the one we just saw where it doesn't have anything on the top. It doesn't have anything on the bottom. It just takes up the whole video. Oh, boom. I just should just go to the next slide. <laughs> That's like the fifth time. So here is a Facebook video version and then here is a YouTube version so that you can see the difference. All right, we'll leave this aspect alone on how to optimize and leaving them unlisted and stuff on your YouTube channel. So you're not going to be worrying about that at any point soon. You're not going to upload these to YouTube yet. You're going to keep these. And if you do need to upload them to YouTube so that they're not on your phone or on your computer, that's fine. Just leave them as private. Um, and then let's see, step six for Facebook. Okay, so Facebook, he's talking about the 17, or 720 by 720 video here. And then scheduling your posts. So scheduling out your Facebook videos, one a day is what he does. Again, we're gonna work our way up to those types of things and we're gonna create a video vault to where we have plenty to use. Here are your quote card examples. I know this is something that most of you guys are already doing. And even if this is saving quotes of others that you would like to use, you can. Um, but the content strategy is basically that these quotes and these topics came out of videos. So now on any given day, he might have a quote card about one topic hitting his Facebook with a video about something else hitting his YouTube but he shot them all and did all of that work several weeks ago. 
Um, okay. And then he talks even about what some of the folder names are here. Again, I have that ready for you and I'll put that into life hackers. So you guys have kind of a checklist resource. Um, talks about how you can use Canva or PicMonkey or Fonto if you're on the go. This is an easier one for your phone. Once you've created your quote cards, again, don't worry about creating quote cards right at this point. You're just going to be recording the videos. And step eight, blog posts. So we will disregard this as well, but the blog posts, the whole idea is that you would take this video, and if it was a longer video, you could use this as a blog that could ultimately be driving people back to your website as well. Begin with the end in mind. So Suma or Buzz Sumo. Again, Buzz Sumo. I'll type it in the chat really quick. Um, you can get the best converting headlines. Um, thank you, Susan. Thank you, Shannon. I am so bad at checking the chat when we're sharing the screen. Um, yes, it'd be great if I can show you how, how to do that. I so will. I so will. Uh, okay. Still in the blog, still in the blog, which definitely, if we're creating all of this content, we have all of these transcriptions. Who knows? We might end up with a blog. We may even end up with a book. Who knows where some of you are going to end up taking this when you really start to have an avenue to truly share your story, not just tell them, click here, do this, dance on your toes, and then come watch a replay of a webinar. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we're stepping it up. Okay, so here is an example of the long post. Again, this over here on the left of your screen is just a transcription of a video. So he didn't go and type all of this stuff. He just shot the videos. And then here is a smaller version of that for Instagram. But now on Instagram, you have to put in the little dots, which you guys probably already know. Um, but if you look at the difference, some of it, he'll just tweak it a little bit to be a little more conversational and a little less grammatically correct is what I've noticed. Uh, and then he always puts in emojis. He says you can use the WhatsApp app, but I think all of our computers now do that. Um, and then once you're done, you save a copy in your Google Drive. So again, you're going to be setting up kind of a bank of transcriptions and content and quotes and videos, and then they are going to begin firing off at different times. So here is an example of his Instagram feed. Um, here's where he's reminding you that at the bottom of his long post, he has the YouTube link. And then timing for daily posts on social media. So I will put this in Life Hackers as well. In fact, I'm going to take a screenshot of it right now so that we have it. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go back to it. So he's saying an 8 a.m. quote card, a 10 a or a 10 p.m. long post because people would probably want to read more at night. I'm going backwards. So well, let's go clockwise. So 8 a.m. quote card, 12 p.m. a Facebook video, 4 p.m. a quote card, 7 p.m. a quote card, and 10 p.m. a long post. Now that might be a little intense for some of our audience sizes. Maybe we wanna cut that down. You'll use your discretion and maybe you only post one of these or two of these a week right now. And maybe you only post this on Friday nights or Saturday nights right now. So don't hold yourself saying that you have to start with this, but this is as we build up so much content and we define so many rhythms to really figure out how to repurpose and recycle over a year's time 
think of how many videos you'll have and nobody who sees your first 30 videos is going to see them again in 10 months, but you can still reuse them because you'll be talking about evergreen topics. So please don't feel as though like, oh my gosh, you know, it's hard to even post a couple of quote cards a day. What do you mean? I got to do a story ad and a Facebook video and everything else at the same time. Um, okay, let's see. Awesome. Awesome. I'm so excited that you guys are loving this. I love it. I love it. I see you guys in the chat. That's awesome. Um, okay. So the big picture. So this is definitely something I will also put in the life hackers group for you guys. So you can download these. This might even be a good desktop image until we've got this all beaten down into a science. Um, but here's kind of the big picture. You're shooting a video. You repurpose that video's text for your quote cards, your long post, and a blog post in time. You can add in frames and subtitles, and you can convert and export them for both of these platforms. On Facebook, it's 720 by 720. YouTube is a different size. Quote cards, blog posts, long post. So it's pretty stinking cool when you look at it in the regard of how you're going to end up being able to repurpose so much of what you're already doing. And now it's not just going to be a go live that you don't use. If you do a good go live, we're going to get that onto your YouTube. We're going to transcribe it. We're going to make some quote cards out of it. We're going to get that message out there because on Facebook, our information, and no matter how good it is, it gets buried like that. Whereas if you put that on YouTube, it grows. You will get link or you will get views over and over. And then in your YouTube, you can always link them back to your fan page and link them back right to an ad post. That way you're linking them back to somewhere that's already gotten a bunch of activity and people are interacting with you. Um, so it's really the hope is, is that we don't, yes, we are going to be biting off some work on us figuring it out how to streamline it uh, or streamline it. But as we do, we will we'll work out those kinks. Um, so a couple more Facebook examples and a couple more uh, Instagram examples. I will also put this in our life hackers group. Um, so don't worry about that. Getting get, or verified, that means you have 100,000 followers. And then the thing that stops people from implementing it. So this is where he goes on to kind of share his story about um, when he first started, how beat up he got about his accent, about his size, and about kind of his um, soft or um, maybe withdrawn demeanor and now seeing him he is like a spitfire so as soon as i have the video from click funnels to share with you guys where he goes over this strategy i'll be sure to do that um but again w that is the thirty thousand foot level view of what we'll be doing we're just going to start with five videos and then next week I'll take you through editing some of those. I'll take you through making it ready for Facebook versus making it ready for YouTube. And then we'll even order, place an order with rev.com so that you guys can see how that part goes. But again, we're going to start with five. We're going to work our way through them. We're going to do the quote cards. Um, we're going to put in emojis and clean things up and learn how to save them. So that way you just basically create yourself a workflow um, and you know where you're at in your workflow based on what's in what folder. That is the ultimate goal. Any questions? cards. I love how yours, you have your, um, oh, can you hear me? You have mm -hmm. your um, corporate escape artist, your little logo down there. If we don't have a good designed logo yet for what we're doing, um, probably a good idea because we're not quoting somebody else at this point. We're branding this as our thought process. So just determine a format for that, whatever that is, and just be consistent on every quote card. Yes, and you can actually create yourself a tiny little logo that maybe just has your name in a pretty little font with a transparent background in about 45 seconds. Would you like to see how? Yeah. I shouldn't have said 45 seconds because it might take me a little longer, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so you just open up a blank thing in Canva. Mm -hmm. 
we're going to add in just text. And if you want to make it fancy, you can. But if we just said Susan Kendrick, and then we change it. I love playlist. It's one of my favorites. So we're just going to go to it because I just love it. So say you did that and you wanted it a little bit bigger and you wanted the name to be yellow or maybe actually, oh, wait a minute. That was not what we wanted. I was hoping something yellow, but you could even do like a little yellow heart or a little yellow shape or something because I know how you like yellow. Uh, even if you did just do maybe like, well, I'm assuming you like yellow. I've seen you use the yellow heart. and I think yellow fits you very well, <laughs> I guess I should say. <laughs> just kind of just go in there. And now to arrange it, you can, or you can send it to the back. Um, okay, so now if you have whatever it was that you wanted to kind of use as your little trademark or whatever, when you hit download, you hit transparent background. Oh, nice. And then once that downloads, you come over here to uploads and you upload your image. <laughs> oh, nice. And now you have that. So now. And it's just that small size as big as, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So now you, you're not stuck with the big box. Yep. You can squeeze, okay, gotcha, perfect. And now you know it's exact, it's always the same. You can yeah. do it whatever, wherever you want. You can put it on the top of your videos. I love oh, <laughs> or anything along those lines. Great. That, Thank you. that help? Yep. Perfect. Awesome. Um, so, do you, oh, do go you ahead. Recommend, do you recommend coming up with like, you know how yours is the corporate escape artist? Like I've been thinking of doing something like that, but I don't know. It'll come to you. So okay. corporate escape artist did not come to me for a long time. Um, mm -hmm. And I still even at times want to like question it. And every time I say something to somebody, they're like, no, I think it's great. But sometimes I'm still like, uh, I don't know if it's inclusive enough, um, but I'll keep working through that. Um, so I guess I'm just like saying like, even though when you do come to one, you might still be like, oh, I don't know if this is me, like that'll come to you in time. Cause it's kind of a, a second personality, not really a second personality, but it's like, it's your brand. It's like, does that, is, does that embody what you want to do in the long term thing? Right. Um, so it'll come to you as you, um, as you work with people, as you think through different things, and then when you know, you'll know. Sometimes okay, somebody will good. say something to you that's really that they really got out of your coaching or something. They'll say, oh, I just really love that phrase. And that's a really good thing, like what catches someone else's ear. And you kind of go, oh, this is how people see me, or this is what they're getting out of talking with me, which is really helpful. So yep. I've gone and even reserved a few domains for different things already. <laughs> so. Thinking ahead, thinking ahead, yeah. which is good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tarna. Yes. For a video ad, are we allowed to say the word free masterclass or does it have to be no cost? You should say no cost. Because I know free is a forbidden word, but it's almost like you, depending on how we use it. In a sense, yes. Um, but when you are talking about the webinar specifically, yeah, you want to avoid the word webinar and you want to avoid the word free. Um, in the videos, they're not as picky as they are in a story text or, or in a story. And then it also depends on where you've positioned it. What we have found, it's not foolproof, but what we have found, if it's closer to the end of the video, 
especially on the longer videos. So okay, so that's good to know because that was my concern. I did a video ad, like the way it went, and then at the very end, I used that word free, and I was a little bummed about that. But other than that, I think that I missed all the other words. Okay, cool. Um, try it first as a video view campaign. I'm sorry? Try to run it first as a video view campaign. Okay. We will know what that means. Um, and play with that and make sure it gets approved first. And then if it doesn't get okay. approved, no, do not run it as a conversion. Okay, no, that makes sense. Cool. Thanks. You're very welcome. Good night, Shannon. Thanks for hanging with us so late um all right guys so any other questions that you guys had again i'm gonna put um kind of like just a week one of our content strategy in the life hackers group i'll put those two images in there so you kind of have the big picture of where we're going and then again the two things you're going to work on this week five videos two to five minutes long if you go a little long on some that's okay if you go a little short on some that's okay too um, don't be worried about the time. You, what you're going to do is you're going to kind of figure out how you start videos and how you end videos and how you can kind of come alive on them. I do encourage you to do them standing up so that you can use your hands and talk as normal. Um, and then, of course, outside if possible, dependent on also your audience. If you're talking about travel and you're talking about adventure, outside makes more sense. If you're talking about um, mom or different things like that, you might want to be more in the living room or more where your avatar would be. So um, don't think that everybody has to do the same thing. You follow what makes you, for one, the most comfortable, and two, what would make your audience the most comfortable. Um, and then you're going to be setting up a Google Drive. I'm sure all of you have a Gmail email, so you probably already have a, G a Google Drive. If you do want to set a separate one up, it wouldn't hurt. Um, and then you just would have all of your folders set up in there. But the purpose of having a Google Drive is if you are Android now or iPhone or have one of each, or if you convert at some point, or best, best, and what our ultimate goal is, is when you have a digital assistant who is managing some of this content for you one day, that you just hand over a password and a filing system workflow protocol, and then you just shoot videos and they take it through the rest. Um, so again, you're going to be in the driver's seat. You're going to figure that out. I am going through the whole looking at hiring a virtual assistant because the virtual assistants in the Philippines are about $4 an hour, which I know sounds crazy, but when you start rendering some of these videos and stuff, um, $4 an hour seems really exciting when you're like, okay, for eight hours of work for $32, hmm, what do I have on my schedule today? So that's the ultimate goal that I, got, I want you guys kind of thinking in. I don't want you getting buried in this thinking, oh my gosh, am I going to spend the rest of my life? Is this what being an online marketer means? No. Fiverr.com is a great place to find a lot of cheap labor, if you will. Yep. Fiverr.com and Freelancer. But there's a few, or there's one that I found today that's specific for um, like content strategists. For more a little more in line with what we do so fingers crossed um uh, and we'll see how that works but my hope is well yeah we'll see cool all right guys well with that i'll let you guys back to your tuesday night and then tomorrow night on trainer die as you guys said would be the most helpful for you i am gonna go through how to organize yourself from a business perspective so that way you can ensure you're writing off correctly. Uh, well, <clears throat> I shouldn't say it so to ensure you're writing off correctly. I'm not a tax professional, but to give you the things to think about and how to prepare yourself throughout the year to make sure that you do not donate any extra money to the government, as I like to say. Um, all right. Thank Let's you. Good night. Good night, Jared. I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Chris is on here. I didn't See that. Good night, Chris and Mayra and Rachel and Maddie. I'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye, Bye guys.